In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate uh, the feast of St. David of Wales, patron of Wales. He set up a clan or a monastic community in South Wales and was a great uh, evangelist. We don't know much about him. He died in 589. Uh, but we do know this, that he gave his heart and soul to God. He led a very strict monastic life. But he concentrated on two things. First of all, he prayed, he interceded right at the centre of his monastic community for them, for the people around them. And then he went out for part of his day always doing practical works of charity. So really, he summed up the Christian life in a sense. He loved God, did his best for God, was a real person in his life. He talk to him constantly in prayer, but it didn't end there. It always went outwards to preach to others the word of life, to feed their souls, and also to relieve their needs. And that's all that need to be said about any Christian, you or me. I celebrate this Mass for the happy repose of the soul of Terry Carter, uh, late of Alithwaite, who died uh, in the last few months. We call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who graciously bestowed on your Bishop, St David of Wales, the virtue of wisdom and the gift of eloquence, and made him an example of prayer and pastoral zeal, grant that through his intercession, your church may ever prosper and render you joyful praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Philippians. I believe that nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For him, I have accepted the loss of everything, and I look on everything as so much rubbish, if only I can have Christ and be given a place in him. I'm no longer trying for perfection by my own efforts, the perfection that comes from the law, but I want only the perfection that comes through faith in Christ and is from God and based on faith. All I want is to know Christ and the power of his resurrection, to share his sufferings by reproducing the pattern of his death. That is the way I can hope to take my place in the resurrection of the dead. Not that I've become perfect yet, I've not yet won, but I'm still running 
trying to capture the prize for which Christ Jesus captured me, I can assure you, my brothers, I'm far from thinking that I've already won. All I can say is that I forget the past and strain ahead for what is still to come. I'm racing to the finish, for the finish, for the prize to which God calls us upwards to receive in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted besides the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. If you make my word your home, you will indeed be my disciples, and you will learn the truth, says the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt becomes tasteless, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing, and can only be thrown out to be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it under a lamp on a lampstand, where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in the sight of men, so that seeing your good works, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. St. David then strictly uh, formed a strict community, uh, a monastic community, uh, surrounded by a sort of earthwork, a round earthwork that makes the clan. And, and, um, but you would have thought, well, surely he's um, forming a defensive work against the world. But it wasn't like that. His monastic community became the powerhouse of prayer. Yes, prayer first. And he went out, as I say, as far as the little we know, two things which had great results. Uh, he went out to preach the gospel and to relieve need, to help people in a practical ways. And it just shows how one person, perhaps he had a companion or two, left a remarkable impression upon the area he covered and, and far beyond it. Do not be disheartened, St. David is saying. If you really are empowered by prayer, really have that relationship with God, really are open to the Holy Spirit who actually empowers you, the Spirit of Jesus, um, then your word mixed with your good actions will make deep impressions on the world around you. What a thoughtful lesson St. David brings for us today. But first of all, it's 
especially in Lent. Let, let, let's um, yeah, go outwards, but make sure we are strengthened inwards so that our faith is the very air we breathe. Lord, hear us. We pray uh, for all of the, the church in Wales, which has such a difficult time. Um, we pray it took centuries to be wiped out, you know, by killing off the priests and so on and so forth. Uh, it lingered long because they wanted their faith. So uh, we pray for a church uh, that, that has gone through difficult times. Lord, hear us. We pray for ourselves, our needs, that we may be the light of hope, shining, as we heard in the Gospel, in people's lives around us, our family first of all, and other people. Lord, hear us. Lord, there are many prayers that come in our hearts and minds. You know them. We ask you to look at them and grant what is good, realising that our prayer, our faithful prayer, has power with you, you who live and reign forever and ever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. <clears throat> with humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you O Lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you Lord God Lord <clears throat> wash away my iniquity cleanse me from my sin <clears throat> pray my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favour, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of Bishop David, Bishop St. David, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honour to your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. David you bid your church rejoice, so too <coughs> you strengthen her by the example <coughs> of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, <coughs> we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> A mere history of faith Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray <clears throat> that partaking of the whole body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters. Remember your servant Terry, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph and her spouse, <clears throat> with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, he dare, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood
Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. With the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and healing where I live. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to make a spiritual communion at this time and to join in with this sacred mass. Do remember your devoted spiritual uh, uh, taking part insofar as you can through the broadcast is of value for yourselves and for the honour of God. Prayer of St. Alphonsus My Jesus I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we, who are fortified by the power of this sacrament, may learn through the example of your Bishop St. David to seek you always above all things and to bear in this world the likeness of the new man through Christ our Lord. <coughs> As always, I do ask you, please just glance at our newly organised newsletter. It's very simplified, just to get the drift of what's happening in the parish. It's our main source of contact. Um, but um, I just ask you to bear in mind that we are <coughs> uh, expect uh, we are opening, we have opened for Sunday Mass, which was lovely, and uh, you do need to book for this coming Sunday's Mass, which is the um, third, uh, uh, third Sunday of Lent. Time is travelling quickly. During the week, a week's time, not this week, but a week's time, <clears throat> week after the third Sunday, we uh, propose to uh, open for a Mass during the week for those who wish that alternative time. Uh, Tuesday, Grange, 9.30. Thursday, Our Lady of Lords, Arnside, 9.30. And Friday, Christ the King, Milnthorpe, at 9.30. But that's not this week, it's the following week. <clears throat> and do look in on the beautiful broadcast, if you can, of the Stations of the Cross. Just take time, slow down with it. Or if, if you've not got the, you know if somebody has not got the internet, just remind them. Do that beautiful act of devotion uh, yourself. Join this Lenten time, it's appropriate. And those who do receive it electronically, have you tried the link to the website on the top of the newsletter? We're going to integrate the website in here. The newsletter will have the headings, perhaps with a little uh, punchline. The details may be in the, in the website. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.